Good morning, everyone, or afternoon. All depends on when you see this video. Uh, it is great to be here on Wednesday, another day that the Lord has blessed us with. Uh, and so we want to, of course, take a moment in this video to share with you some announcements about the church here. Uh, we also take a moment to look at God's word on prayer, the importance of it, and then we end by a word of encouragement. So uh, we hope this is a blessing to you. The first things first, then, is the announcements, and it being Wednesday. Uh, the announcement is that we will continue to have Bible study uh, on the phone call on Wednesday nights. And so that's at 7 o'clock tonight. And Dave will be teaching that as he has been. Uh, we'll be looking at Acts chapter 9, starting in verse 15. Dave has already sent out an email this morning to our members. Uh, and so hopefully you're able to look over those things and uh, we can discuss that tonight on the phone call. Uh, we appreciate Dave teaching that class. Uh, and so just be prepared tonight for that. Uh, don't forget about the Potter's Children's Home. We made mention of it about, this is probably the third time making mention of it. Uh, we have a flyer in the back for those in person. Uh, but what that flyer basically says is when they're coming to pick those items up, uh, which is the week of October 18th, to let us know more exactly of which day they're coming as we draw closer. And uh, as far as the items go, it's chocolate Pop-Tarts, toilet paper, Velveeta cheese, barbecue sauce, and diced tomatoes. Uh, so I believe we've sent that out in the email, but now it's here on this video for you uh, of when they're coming to pick up, uh, what items you can bring. We already have some toilet paper in the back. If you do bring those Sunday morning or throughout the week, just put them uh, underneath the back table there. Uh, and so we'll get that all gathered together, and they'll come and pick that up. We appreciate it. And they just called yesterday, in fact, checking to see if we would participate, and they were very happy uh, that we opened it up to our members to, to help. I believe we may mention of this last week, and uh, of course, uh, ought to be reminded of, but CYC, as of now, uh, is still scheduled for February. It's the last weekend. It's the 26th through the 28th. Uh, we've gone for two years in a row. It's been a really good experience, a uh, great experience for us, uh, getting to be around fellow Christians for our youth group uh, and seeing uh, men and women, boys and girls uh, that are, are following Christ, that want to dedicate their lives to Christ. And so, again, we get to spend time together, and then we get to spend time uh, in God's Word. It's a really great experience, and uh, registration is open now. Uh, that's open through December for $30, so we want to be thinking about that. Um, and, and so please, uh, what we did last year was we asked by about the beginning of December for people to let us know and start registering so that, again, it gives you time now to prepare, uh, but also we want to make sure we pay the $30 rather than 40 and get uh, any bookings that we need uh, for vehicles and or lodging arrangements. As far as the mail, we of course from time to time get things that come to us uh, and updates through the mail. This week we have from In Search of the Lord's Way, uh, and so we'll post that on the back bulletin board for those that come in person. Um, you can take a look at that, stop by any time during the week and get your hands on it. Uh, but they are a program, uh, I believe, on radio and online. It said something about YouTube. And, uh, of course, on, on a, on be able to watch it on your TVs at home. And so you can take a look at that uh, and what a, a great work that is of getting God's Word out to as many people as possible. We're thankful for their efforts. Uh, again, as far as considering helping schools, we do have some su school supplies in the back. I just emailed those schools on Monday. They've been in school now about two to three weeks. And so hopefully in the coming days or week, uh, we'll be able to hear back from them. And uh, we can then relate that information to you uh, of what specific things they need. And uh, again, this is a way for us to help and give back to those in our community. As far as Sunday goes, we will uh, live stream Sunday morning service. It does seem as if 
Uh, again, that is perhaps working. We're really trying to work with this lapel microphone. Uh, we did find out that the iRig back there that helps us record the audio onto uh, the Nevo, the recording system we have here, uh, does pick up every microphone. Uh, and so it's just that some of these microphones are further away from the speaker uh, and may not uh, have the same uh, use as the lapel. So perhaps we can hook up another lapel microphone back there. Uh, just something for us to think about. Uh, but we're, of course, wanting this to be as great of an experience for those at home, our members, and for those that are uh, not a part of the church that are watching these videos. We want uh, you to truly hear uh, the prayers. We want you to hear the singing. We want you to be able to hear God's word being spoken uh, so that you can learn more about God. Now, Sunday morning, Dave is the preacher that morning. Uh, and so we look forward to that and we appreciate him stepping up and doing that Sunday morning. And we just always ask you to share with friends and family members as you have the opportunity. Uh, again, it's an opportunity for people to see about God's church. It's about people being able to see uh, what his truth is and see how his people interact and how they worship him. Don't forget, on Sunday uh, mornings, we do have a kids lesson from at 1015, which is just before service begins at 1030. So if you have any kids, grandkids, please bring them by 1015. With all of this being said about Sunday and worship and us gathering, uh, it had been decided uh, as of Sunday night that we are at least going to, for the next two weeks and perhaps longer, uh, continue to meet the way we are now. And what that means is we'll be here in person for a kids' lesson 1015 Sunday morning. We'll be here for worship at 1030. We'll go home. We'll do a Bible study over the phone Sunday evening and Wednesday evening. And so uh, that is what has been decided. That is how we will continue to meet for the time being. I just want you to be informed and updated on those things. So now that we've came to the end of our updates, the things that have uh, came about in the last week or so, now we want to turn our focus to God's Word and focus on prayer. Focus on prayer. Hopefully, if you've been watching these videos, you know we've been looking at several different passages of Scripture that talk about prayer, and that's helping us to see just how important it is, uh, who's doing it. And that's what we see in Luke chapter 6, verse 12. Here we see Jesus himself praying. And what Luke 6, 12 tells us about Jesus is it says that he prays, all night. He continued praying, praise all night. And, and the very next thing talks about in the day of that morning. So it is that Jesus did not pray into the night, but prays all night, continuously. That begins to have us ask some questions for ourselves. One being of how often do we pray? You know, what importance do we put on prayer? Do we fully understand prayer? And who it is to. You know, Jesus understood as he was praying, he was speaking to his Father. A wonderful thing. And as Christians, we have that opportunity as well. But another question is, how long do we pray? Uh, uh, perhaps we, we do pray often, but they're in just very short prayers. And there's uh, no amount of length of time that a prayer has to be. There's no amount uh, of time of how often one has to pray. But it really can be a, a tell sign to us if we're not praying often, if we're not praying long. Then perhaps it can tell us and show us about our relationship with God. God our Father, God our Creator, God who had sent us His Son so that we may be saved. We ought to be able to go to Him thanking Him for all that we have. And we ought to be able to go to Him with our concerns. Knowing that Jesus did the very same thing. So may this week, may you think about that, of how often you're praying, and perhaps, again, also ask the question of how long are you praying? Is it something that you're doing like you feel out of uh, requirement uh, just to get the prayer out of the way? Or are you truly letting God know all the things you're thankful for and letting God know of all the, the worries and stress in your life? As Christians, thankfully, we have that opportunity through prayer. But we don't only take a moment to look at God's word on the subject of 
prayer. It's important for us, and hopefully we come to understand that better. But also in these uh, times of uncertainty and as uh, things aren't the way they used to be, we also want to take a look into God's Word to find a word of encouragement. We looked into the Gospel. We looked uh, into C, uh, is the Gospel of Mark. And we saw some moments of encouragement we could find within talking about the life of Christ. And now we've turned and looked to Acts to see now the church, which we're a part of. Where is it that we can find encouragement from there in God's Word? Today we're going to be looking at Acts chapter 6. Acts chapter 6, 3 through 7. Now just like some of the text in Mark, this starts off, with a problem. And so, just like those texts in Mark, where we'd say, you know, on the surface, this may seem to be a problem. may not seem to be a good thing. But in Acts chapter 6, not only is there a problem that arises, but a solution. And so we can take comfort in that. Acts chapter 6, 3 through 7. Therefore, brethren, seek out from among you seven men of good reputation, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, whom we may appoint over the business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. There was a job, a responsibility that needed to continue, but something else needed to be done. And so uh, they couldn't stretch themselves thin. They wanted someone else to step up. And so that's exactly what's going to take place as we continue reading. Verse 5. And the saying pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith, and the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and the canner, Timon, Permanus, and Nicholas, a proselyte from Antioch, whom they set before the apostles. And when they had prayed, they laid hands on them. And now here, verse 7. Here's some encouragement for us. Then the word of God spread. The number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests were obedient to the faith. How encouraging is that? We see... Here is an opportunity for work to be done in the church, to serve one another. And so they went out and found these men to help the church, to help serve. And it's by these men stepping up and serving that the church is able to grow. That everyone was able to fulfill their own role, their own responsibility. No one was overworked. And as they played their part, so it is the church grew and expanded. How encouraging that is for us today. And hopefully we can take that lesson to heart. Hopefully you and I can, today, we can ask ourselves, what is my role in the church? What is my responsibility to my brother and sister in Christ? How is it that I can serve one another? And as I do my part, and as you do your part, as we are faithful, obedient unto God as His church, we can see it grow. Wonderful, wonderful that is encouraging that ought to be for us. Thank you for today uh, of coming and listening to these announcements, whether it be on Facebook, YouTube, uh, but we appreciate you listening to these announcements, uh, of being reminded of the importance of prayer, and then hearing an encouraging word from God's Word. We, of course, miss those uh, brothers and sisters in Christ that are at home. Uh, We are continuing to pray for you, we know, and are praying Lord willing that there will come a day that we can be in person together again. Uh, But there are those that have the opportunity to be here Sunday. And so we appreciate you being here, uh, of showing your loyalness, not to us, but to God. And showing your love and respect for God. And so we hope to see you all here Sunday.